Hey everyone, um, today, uh, this is, I think this is just going to be a direct upload, but today I am going to make a video of some new fan stuff I got. Uh, a lot of it being memorabilia, which you can probably just saw, and some of it are actual ceiling fans as seen here. So let's get started. The first thing is this. This is a working Casablanca desk clock. These are very rare. It's in almost perfect condition. The only thing wrong is some of the finish there was rubbed off. South Fork Ranch, July 7th, 1985. All of this down here is all spare stuff that I'm... All of this is going to Dominic Tassari in exchange for a antique copper Casablanca New Orleans Centennial K63. This is all some memorabilia stuff. I Some of it recently I got, and some of it um, has been here. All of this is for sale, but I think I found an owner for it. A buyer, excuse me. And here's the new and improved memorabilia display for Casablanca. So we'll go through everything. First, we'll put this where I wanted to put it. Will it go? Will it stay? Yep. <laughs> and put the uh, 1982 Casablanca catalog here in this uh, Delta II shell. As I was saying, so we got here is a W11, which does not work. Has very clicky buttons, audible. This is a Casablanca um, coaster. You don't see these very often. Two Casablanca screwdrivers. Blade balancing kit instructions. A screwdriver that would have come with the recall clips. A heat sink from a slumber quiet system. A dead IntelliTouch board. A keychain. A 1970s era light kit and fan housing logo. That was before they started using the actual tags like this. This came off of my um, uh, Casablanca Monte Claire in white and brass, which is actually right there. Because I switched motors, the original switch housing wouldn't come out of the motor, so I had to tear it off and I have to buy a rivet gun to put that back on. Casablanca fan book. Um, owner's manual from the 80s. Two brochures. This one promotes... Um, Slumber Quiet, uh, this is from the early 80s, and this one promotes IntelliTouch. This one is from the mid-80s. Here is a Delta catalog. And the three distinct finish finishes. Uh, gloss black, antique white, or is that gloss black or charcoal black? I can't remember. But black, antique white, and traditional brown. That's one of my favorite finishes. And there is a antique, an antique white one with stencil. And a Century 9000 catalog. This is probably one of my favorite pieces alongside the clock. They made the Century in three finishes, uh, four finishes. The most common being antique brass seen here and here. The second most common being white and antique brass. That's actually not in this catalog. The third most common being bright brass. One is right here. And the most rare is white and bright brass seen here. There's an antique brass one. Some more information. There are instructions and the safety alert sticker for a Casablanca recall clip, one on display here. Product registration form. Um, some new old stock. Um, I'm not going to show the guy's address, 
some new old stock um, canopy clips in that orange envelope with the some more instructions right below it. And there's some dude's instruction um, directions on here because all these um, all this new stuff came from a lighting showroom in Virginia. I answered a Craigslist listing from it, so. And this one here has an address to a certain person who lives in Virginia, and it was never shipped out to him, so he probably kept it in the back. You can see they did some math on it. Uh, what else? Oh. Uh, right here is a Casablanca shirt. Have to throw it in the wash. Right there. This one is going to another collector. Uh, this one's actually specifically, this is going to the Russian Fazbear, a.k.a. Spencer Russian, in trade for a Newtone Friction Drive Veranda and an, a set of blades. Uh, I think that's it for memorabilia. What else? Oh, the fans. So the first fan here is a new unbox Chadwick A2 lamp. I, have, I actually haven't opened this up yet. This is my first legitimate new unbox fan. Came from Daniel Groundwater. All of the fans shown in this video um, came from Daniel Groundwater. The second one is this 1984 Casablanca Victorian Gallery Edition from 1980, like I said, 1984. Unfortunately, it does not have the correct glass, but I'm working on getting the correct set and I'll just have these as a spare. Up here, this replaced the Century. Up here, this replaced um, my Phil Rich. This is a TAT CF28, I think this is. Right there, TAT. You don't see these too often. Uh, where's the remote? Here it is. Using a standard remote for it. Now, this is some more stuff I got, memorabilia-wise. Um, it's a list of all the lighting showrooms um, that Casablanca used when the Panama 2 came out. I guess we can uh, just show it on medium because why not? I don't like to run this and the Victorian at the same time because they're pretty close to each other and we don't want anything wobbling too much. You can see it's already pretty wobbly. I think one of the blades is out of clock and I have to fix it. Excuse me. I'll just show the Victorian. You can see, put an IntelliTouch switch in. I'll just uh, put the lights on dim. I guess we can. Uh, Just put it on speed four. And while we're over here, we can look at the tag. You can see the model number 2004T, which is um, the gallery edition model for an antique brass Victorian. Let's go back to regular. I don't want to be in wide angle. We'll just uh, shut it off and reset the lights. So there's that. Um, this is not the last fan, but this is a Casablanca Four Seasons from 1989. Another IntelliTouch. The thing about this Victorian is the um, board in this fan used to be RMM1, but I'm guessing since RMM1 was pretty faulty, it died and they, they uh, whoever had this fan, whether it was Daniel or someone else before him, took it out and replaced it with an RMM3 board. And that's RMM2 since it's from 89. And this IntelliTouch switch actually has a broken light button. You can see it's pretty shiny for me putting oil in there and trying to get it to work again, but it didn't work. But it still functions, like you can still push it and it'll 
respond. It just doesn't spring back into place. All right, and I think I, oh yeah, that's right. Um, this is my Casablanca shirt. This is a very, very rare shirt. You'll see why here in a minute. You can see it says Casablanca Specialist. Very rare. So I'm gonna throw that back in the hamper and I'll uh, wash it on the next uh, laundry day for me. We'll get you a look at the, uh, not the Victorian, the um, Four Seasons tag. go. This is a non-gallery edition, obviously. There's no light on it. What's next? Um, oh, this. Uh, this is a plastic Emerson 52-inch uh, from the late 70s, early 80s. I think it's from the 80s because it has a K55 in there. Everything's plastic. Except for the light, of course, and the motor. Yep, Plastic Emerson. I have yet to hang that, and that's the fifth blade from the Four Seasons. I like four blades better, and not to mention because if you know anything about Casablanca, you'll know that the um, flywheel sucked. They had the, uh, the Curse of an 89, I guess you could call it. Here's some whole chain pendants I forgot to show. Some new ones and some old ones. And, ow, stubbed my toe on those blades. There's a uh, low ceiling adapter installation gu guide. Below it is a thing. Serial number location. I don't know what this is for, something about the warranty. And this is a list about all the Casablanca fan weights. Like how much each thing weighs. There's something. <laughs> and I guess before the video legitimately comes to an end, we can take a look at some of this stuff. Um, the stuff that I didn't uh, show the insides of. Casablanca book, uh, you can find that in another video. Or if you have one, you can look at that yourself. So here is the owner's manual. Congratulations, we are confident that your Casablanca ceiling fan until provided, will provide many years of enjoyment and energy savings. This owner's manual will help you Get the maximum benefit from your fan. Please read it carefully. You can show, I mean, you can see this man installing a Zephyr with pretzel brackets. So you know it has all the um, locations for fans. It has all the safety precautions, how to wire things, what the wires do and what they mean. Some advertisements for fans. There's a Slumber Quiet Panama 5, uh, white and brass with stencil, white and brass Century 9000, uh, Antique Brass 20th Century Limited, that looks like a K63 um, polished copper four seasons because of the thickness, but who knows. And this guide here from the early 80s. Casablanca presents this collection of our quote, fantastics, end quote, series of advertisements as a source of reference for discerning consumers. It is, in effect, six, uh, six concise chapters which clearly explain some of the exclusive engineering features which makes Casablanca fans the finest in the world. If only Slumber Quiet wasn't faulty, maybe it would be the finest in the world. Maybe I should do separate videos on these because, like I said, this is rare. 
This is stupid rare. And this is stupid rare. Only three of these have been found. We can look at the car crank flyer. It's about IntelliTouch. You can see it's not in the greatest shape. Introducing IntelliTouch, the computerized ceiling fan with control convenience, wall control convenience. The world leader in ceiling fan technology, Casablanca, offers you the world's first computerized ceiling fan. IntelliTouch puts fan, total fan and light control on your wall at your fingertips. And its microcomputer also performs a home security lighting system and an energy, energy saving light timer. Now you'll never be bothered by having to constantly tug on a pull chain or balance on a step ladder to operate your fan. Anyone can install it, all you need is a screwdriver, because the IntelliTouch control replaces your standard wall light switch with a two quick wire connection. World's most advanced fan control. Once the IntelliTouch control is in place, your Casablanca fan is conveniently and totally at your command. Click it on, click it off, or gradually run it through a progression of speed settings, each announced by its own audio chime. Once you've selected a speed, IntelliTouch stores it away in its memory and automatically brings the fan up to that brings the fan up to that speed each time you turn the fan on. Unless of course you reset it. And best of all, IntelliTouch meets Casablanca's exacting standards for completely silent fan operation. And with IntelliTouch you instantly get better light control than you had with your standard wall switch. Because IntelliTouch not only allows you for easy push key dimming, but it also remembers your selected light level, and unless reset will automatically resume at that level each time the lights are turned on. Uh, during cold weather, it pays to reverse the direction in which your fan blades turn. This recirculates heated air trapped at ceiling level and now saves considerably on heating bills. Now all you need to do is push two keys on the IntelliTouch control and watch the smoothest fan reversal in the world. Crime, study sh crime studies continue to indicate that one of the most effective deterrents available to the homeowner is a home security lighting system. The IntelliTouch Home Safe program instantly provides such a system with a simple push key sequence, an audio chime, and flashing of lights at flashing of light signal at the beginning of a controlled cycle on-off on operation which makes your home appear occupied. Forgetting to turn the lights off is an almost sinful waste of energy, a waste you pay dearly for every month. Now, IntelliTouch remembers to turn lights off for you with its LightMinder program. A simple push key sequence that sounds an audio chime. This assures you that each time the lights are turned on, they will automatically be turned off two hours later unless the program is canceled. The IntelliTouch series of computerized ceiling fans with wall control convenience is only available from Casablanca. The world's finest. Yep. So that's basically when RMM1 was introduced. We can look at the 1982 catalog. After all, there is no video of these on YouTube and no f uh, footage of these anywhere online to my knowledge. So the first page, well, of course, is the cover. It's not shown it's a 1982 catalog, but you know it's a 1982 catalog when you see this. That's right, the Casablanca Centennial. These were only made in 1982, and I'll read about this here in a minute, but while I'm here, I will sit under the light, and I'll, let's uh, charge my phone. Let's use, is my Mophie turned on? I have a charging case on my phone, so I have to see if it's uh, turned on. I hope it's working. All right, so as I was saying, the Centennial. Casablanca presents the world's finest ceiling fans. Not long after Thomas Edison started the electrical age, an obscure inventor named Philip Deal amazed and delighted the world with a new invention, the ceiling fan. A century later, the Casablanca Fan Company magnificently commemorates that event with the Centennial. Form and function are retained with beautiful cast in bronze and copper, now housing, now housing Casablanca's electric, electronic technology. Etched rosewood blades circle silently above hand-cut crystal light shades. Signed and numbered, only 5,000 are being produced. See your authorized Casablanca light dealer for details. 
A solid bronze canopy leads a look of elegance to the Centennial. And the Centennial is packaged in its own customized solid oak brass bound crate. These fans are very rare. Only a handful of collectors have them. They're one of a kind fans, but unfortunately they use the dreaded slumber quiet system. So the first, um, first fan here is the Zephyr which in the catalog is available in antique copper, polished copper, antique brass, chrome, and pewter. The most common of these being antique brass and the rarest being uh, pewter. And there's bright brass there. Second fan is the Victorian, available in white and brass, antique copper, bright brass, uh, bright, uh, I mean, polished copper and bright brass, bright brass and charcoal black, pewter and black and antique brass. I think the rarest is either black and antique brass or brass and copper. Next fan is the Panama 5. Let's see, that's a famous picture. I didn't I didn't read the introductions, did I? Okay, so so for the Zephyr form follows function, the Zephyr mirrors the design simplicity of early 20th century ceiling fans with smooth, clean lines. Available in an array of finishes, the Zephyr has shown its ability to enhance almost any decor uh, imitated but never e equaled. The Zephyr by Casablanca. You know what, we are going to move my computer so I can plug my phone in because I have a feeling it's going to die and I don't want to use iMovie more. So if you hear a loud vibrating sound, please ignore that. That is just my phone indicating that it is being charged. All right, what's next? Zephyr, we did that already. Victorian. Timeless describes the century-old beauty of the Victorian. Styling from the 1880s, this beautiful fan incorporates the latest technology from Casablanca. They're talking about slumber quiet. So Panama 5, that's the, I think that's the cover page of the book over there. This was available in black and antique brass, brown and brass, white and antique brass, brown and brass, and brown and brass again. That's bright brass, uh, antique brass, and antique brass again. I think that's traditional brown charcoal black and traditional brown again, and there's white and bright brass. Panama, white clothing, colorful birds, and equatorial heat. The ceiling fan brought comfort and a new life to this tropical nation. Now Casablanca's new Panama 5 introduces a unique five-bladed system that's precision engineered for maximum efficiency and comfort at low speeds. I have yet to find a Slumber Quiet Panama 5, and I hope to sometime soon, especially in one of the rare Finnish combinations. All right, Four Seasons. This was introduced in the, 70, the 70s, and of course we have my favorite polished copper one, which is over there. Let's go back to a regular, there we go. Four Seasons a more compact version of our popular Zephyr series. The Four Seasons offers Casablanca beauty and comfort for smaller spaces such as bedrooms and kitchens. Offered in bright brass, uh, antique white and bright brass, antique white and antique brass, antique brass and antique white. The rarest is the um, either brown, black, or chrome, all of which I want. Century, series 9000. Century 9000. For 1982, we, we proudly introduced the Century 9000. Its turn to the Century styling makes a beautiful addition to any decor with Casablanca's slumber quiet control. The Century 9000 easily meets the demands of the most discriminating owners. Indeed it does. It is a beautiful fan offered in antique brass, white and, antique, white and bright brass, bright brass, and white and antique brass. White and bright brass is the um, rarest, while antique brass is the most common. And Casablanca's first three-speed fan, hence the name Delta. 
For the practical ceiling fan buyer, the three-speed Delta offers Casablanca quality and beauty with extraordinary value. Offered an antique white seat here and here, traditional brown and charcoal black. Separate Delta catalog over there, as well as a Century. All right, now we're getting to some of the fun, ornate stuff. Columbia 2. The Columbia 2 design has been a favorite since it was presented at the St. Louis World's Columbia Exposition in 1893. The Casablanca Columbia 2 captures the ornate detail of that design and the superb craftsmanship of the era. The original Columbia was the Columbia 500. It uses a, um, it used a gear drive system that really weren't effective for air movement, but more for decor. And there was another set of 500 that used K63 motors. The Columbia 2 was um, available in K63 in the 70s and K55 until it was discontinued in 82 or 3, I think. It was also available in bright brass, but I think that was a custom finish and it's very rare. At some point soon, I'm getting a bright brass K63 one from another collector. This is antique brass. I don't, I, know, I don't know if they made these in copper, but they did make the 20th Century Limited in copper. During the golden age of American railroads, the, the ultimate in passenger comfort and luxury was the 20th Century Limited. The same spirit is found in the workmanship and attention to detail of our beautiful 20th Century Limited fan. So antique brass. This one, I guess, is antique copper. Wow, that's a rare one. I actually uh, found an antique copper uh, motor but one of the collectors in California bought it. All right, one of my favorites, Broadway Limited. Uh, they did, I think, three variations of the Broadway. They did the 500 Limited and then the Limited. And then there was the Commodore Vanderbilt, which um, they did 250 of in a limited run. And then they did an, an unlimited amount until they were discontinued in the late 2000s. Handcrafted to, to match the elegance of one of the earliest ceiling fans, the Broadway Limited in, is cast in lightweight alloys and lavished with intricate detail. Inside, Casablanca's electronic technology allows modern variable speed and reversibility with silent operation. Uh, these were available in copper, but those are ridiculously rare. You almost always see these in antique brass. New Orleans Centennial, also known as the New Orleans. New Orleans, city of celebration, a spirit unmatched in North America. The craftsmanship of Canal Street with its beautiful, finely scrolled balconies is now recaptured in the magnificent New Orleans Centennial series. Seen here in copper, these were also available in antique brass. They may have been in bright brass, but I'm not sure. And the blades, various blades with stencil, walnut, oak, antique white, uh, golden oak walnuts, like I just said. Antique white with cane. All sorts of fun stuff. And the shades, white glass, whatever. Got beveled, grandma glass, non-beveled, smooth, globes, different colored, ornate, ribbed, different colors. And light kits themselves, K2, K4, and K5L. And this is the finish. So, you know, you know, whenever you see a serial number, per se, with uh, bright brass, you see finish two in the uh, number. So, you know, finish one is antique copper, two is bright brass, three is bright copper or polished copper, four is antique brass, five is chrome, nine is pewter. You get the idea. There's a light kit adapter. Down rods with spirals, uh, five blade adapter kit, pull coupler, swag kits, and wall controls. And here's the uh, first page from the uh, Casablanca fan book that's over there. It shows a man installing a pretzel bracket Zephyr. Man, this video is gonna take forever. And save energy year after year after year. It's a beautiful fan. I wish I could find a pretzel bracket Zephyr. That'd be cool. Here's specifications, control systems, uh, speed range, RPMs. Um, able to be 
like an adaptable, you get the idea. It's a Zephyr Victorian Broadway Four Seasons, Columbia 2, 20th Century Limited, New Orleans Centennial, Century 9000, Delta Centennial, and Panama 5. Unfortunately, the back cover is quite mangled and bent. Casablanca Trucks. Nearly a decade ago, the Casablanca Fan Company began the era of a modern of the modern ceiling fan by combining solid-state electronic technology with early fan designs. Continuous development has resulted in today's white light high efficiency fans that install quickly and provide years of comfort and energy savings with total silence. Casablanca is America's premier ceiling fan manufacturer. We design, engineer, and manufacture our complete line of products at our 1,600,000 square foot facilities in Pasadena, California. Our spectacular trucks supply the more than 1,000 dealers in North America that proudly sell Casablanca fans. And once you've owned a Casablanca fan, you'll see that why we say that Casablanca fans are an investment in quality. Yep. So, Casablanca 1982 catalog edition. So there's the first look on the, on the internet. I don't know if any of them have been archived anywhere, but yep. There you go. So anyway, that's my new fans, so my new memorabilia stuff, and some look in some catalogs and some pamphlets. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.